So let's look at the following example. A particle starts from rest at time equals zero at the origin, so at the point zero, zero, and moves along the xy plane with acceleration given by the following equation. So my x component term is 4.0t squared times i hat, and my y component vector is 4.0 times t times j hat. So the uh, units are meters per second squared like usual. Now, what this equation gives me is at any given moment in time, I can plug in a time value and this equation will give me what my acceleration vector is at that given moment in time. So we want to find the x and y components of velocity. Notice this equation gives us the x and y components of acceleration, but what we need to find are the x and y components of velocity. So how do we go about finding these x and y components? Well, let's recall what our definition of our acceleration vector in two dimensions. So our instantaneous acceleration in two dimensions is equal to taking the derivative of our velocity function in two dimensions with respect to time. So let's take this equation and rearrange it. Let's bring our dt term to the left side. So we get our instantaneous acceleration vector multiplied by our instantaneous or our infinitely small change in time equals infinitely small change in velocity vector. So now let's take the integral of both sides. So whatever we do to the left term, we have to do the same exact thing to the right term. So we take the integral of both sides. So taking the integral of the right side will give us v. So this term will be equivalent to simply v, our velocity vector. Likewise, notice that this a can be replaced with this equation as we did here. And now taking the integral of this uh, equation, we take the integral of the x component and the integral of the y component, so we get 4.0t squared becomes 4.0t cubed divided by 3, and 4.0t becomes 4.0t squared divided by 2, so it becomes 2.0t squared. So, it turns out that my x component is given by the following equation and my y component is given by this equation, which we simply obtain from this velocity function equation. So, notice this should be a, a vector symbol. So, as shown here. Okay. So, Let's go to part B. Now, we want to find the speed of the particle at time 2 seconds. In other words, at 2 seconds, what exactly is the magnitude of my velocity vector? So, I can find what my velocity vector is from the equation we got from part A. So, this is my equation here. So, I essentially take my 2 seconds I plug it into this one, and I plug it into my vy. So vx with respect to 2 is equal to 4.0 times 2 cubed divided by 3. So we get 4.0 times 8 divided by 2, and we get 32 divided by 3. Now, my magnitude of the y component is 2 times 2 squared, so that gives me 8. So the magnitude of my x component is 32 divided by 3, and the magnitude of my y component is 8. Now, I take the square of both of these values, I add them, and I take the radical of that sum, and that will give me the magnitude of my velocity at 2 seconds, which is approximately 7.1 meters per second.